Now today's episode of Keeping Goals is very special for two main reasons. We have finally reached the end of pre-season. Someone has come back, someone's returned. Look who's here. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe, I'm a goalkeeper and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my journey throughout football. Now today's episode of Keeping Goals is very special for two main reasons. For those of you that have been watching for a while, you will know that my team, PTA IF, we began pre-season training here in Sweden way back on the 6th of January. It's been my first experience of pre-season here in Sweden and it is a very, very long one to say the least. We've put in a lot of good work, a lot of hard training. We've had a lot of good results in our pre-season friendlies as you've seen over the last couple of weeks. But in today's vlog, we have finally reached the end of pre-season. I'm gonna bring you guys along for our final pre-season friendly, our third game against our local rivals, IFK Lulia. But the main reason why today's vlog is a very exciting vlog is because someone has come back, someone's returned. Look who's here. Yeah. <laughs> if we, if you I'm knew fine. how long we've been planning the introduction of Frankie to and Keeping Goals, the reintroduction ended up with, me going like this. Yeah. Ended up with you running in the background. Most of you know Frankie, some of you don't, but Frankie is my girlfriend who has been very patiently waiting in England, unable to get to Sweden, yes. but she's here, back finally in Petia. We've had lots of comments asking where Frankie is, what's been happening, and well, you tell them. Well, like Con said, I've been stuck in England, but I've managed to get my residency done, so mm. I got through the border, which was quite stressful, and now I'm in Petia for the foreseeable, so I'm very happy to be back. Well, I'm glad that you're planning on staying for a while. Yeah, well, you know, I thought, might, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> which might mean the return of Frankie Cam if you're allowed to come and watch games. For those of you that weren't watching, back in Series 4, Frankie Cam originated where Frankie was very lovingly watching the games and filming, but instead of capturing my assist. pretty much full-length side volley assist, <laughs> decided to film a dog instead. Aww, I missed that as well, oh, I missed that. Oh, look at that dog. Sorry. Oh, So Frankie's back, final pre-season friendly, all ramping up to get the season started. Everything is looking very, very good. So right now, I'm gonna show you the highlights from that final pre-season friendly and talk you guys through it. Let's go. So in the last episode of the vlog, quite a few of you guys left a comment saying that you quite enjoyed the fact that I was commentating or giving my opinion on the game as we watched it, as opposed to the normal commentary from the stream. If that is the case, and you do enjoy me analyzing the game footage as we go along, please let me know in the comments, because I obviously want to bring you guys the content that you enjoy the most. So I'm going to try it again today. You guys can let me know what you think, which you prefer, my analysis or the normal commentary. I won't be offended either way. So our final pre-season friendly, our third game, as I said, against IFK Lulia. We've played them twice already, a 1-0 win and a 1-1 draw. Our other two friendlies were a 2-0 win against Umia and a 1-1 draw against Solentuna in last week's vlog. Being our final pre-season friendly, the aim was to bring everything together that we've worked on during this period, try out the last few things that we want to try before properly getting into preparations for the season. So let's get stuck into it. My team, Peter, we are in red, IFK Lulia in white. One thing we wanted to try a little bit more in this game was playing out from the back. As you can see, this time I elected to kind of clip to my full back, but we did a lot more work in passing out and keeping the ball in possession. The Solentuna game, we struggled with that a little bit. So for this game, we wanted to really focus on trying that a lot more. As you can see from this kind of passage of play, we were a lot more comfortable on the ball. People showing to receive under pressure, which is something that we're gonna have to do during the season. This move unfortunately didn't lead to anything, but was a nice bit of play. However, sometimes that poses risks, like here, we, you can give the ball away when you're trying to play out from the back. And this led to probably IFK Lulia's first chance of the game, a good strike, which I kind of managed to push over the bar when really I wanted to catch it, but dealt with it either way. 
Breakdown after one of our corners. This is always a difficult situation when you're receiving the ball after attacking a corner. James plays a short pass and I had to be quick out to make the block in front of the striker. Free kick for Lulia. They have a good free kick taker, which I'd seen before, so set up the wall well. Good block from the wall. Playing out from a corner, as you can see, Lulia had some good chances, but it mainly came from us giving the ball away. As you can see, a, sh a close shot there, but not on target. Ball over the top. Again, we probably didn't deal with that as well as we would have wanted to, which led to a chance. And I think the first half of the first half, we didn't really get on the ball as much as we wanted to, and we gave him a few chances where it broke down. Good opportunity for Make running through. Keeper kind of deals with it. Defender clears. A good ball into the box. Pash, unfortunately, was blown for a foul there, so it did not count. But he's always a danger in the box. Good free kick from Freddy. Pretty close. He's a good free kick taker, Freddy. So hopefully he can get some free kick goals this season. Nice reverse pass from Sia. Again, didn't quite fall for Pash to get the shot away. Good save in the end from the keeper. Stood up well. This was probably their best chance. Good build-up play from Lulia down the right-hand side. A good strike, but straight at me. I elected to push it away as opposed to holding it. Had a bit of movement on it, so I tried to just play it safe with the save. Second half, we decided to be a little bit more direct with our passing. Not just booming it long, but trying to find our way through the press a bit more. With that pass back, I just wanted to try and hit the forwards as best as possible because there wasn't the opportunity to play out. I had this chance on the right-hand side. Pash puts the cross in, good header from Mackett, but straight at the keeper. Any other side, he probably would have had a good chance of scoring. Build up on IFK Lulia's right, good cross, just get there in front of the striker and start play again. Good hold up play from Pash, plays to see it, out to Freddy, unfortunate with the shot. Freddy is lethal if you give him opportunity, so I knew he would have been frustrated with that, but he's in the right place to get the chances, which is the most important thing. Another close effort from Pash with the ball bouncing around the box, but we were getting more chances in the game, which was important. Easy kind of sweep up for myself and trying to distribute as quickly as possible, as you guys know, to start attacks. Now a corner, loads of bodies. I've come to push it away. Loads of bodies is always difficult. Just try and get a touch, anything you can on the ball. And that was what I was focusing on there. Good pace from Glory, as always. Setting up a counter attack after an IFK Lulia corner. Opportunity for Ruben, just didn't quite catch hold of the shot. Now here's our goal, good play from Pash to Freddy, out to James, brilliant cross from James, our left back. Good header from Pash, keeper manages to touch it onto the bar and Freddy's there to touch in the rebound. As I said, Freddy is a lethal striker. Those of you that watched keeping goals in series four, you saw how many goals he scored. He would be very grateful to get a chance like that but he's always in and around it, creating opportunities. So the fact that he was the one that was switched on, ready for the rebound off the bar, just shows that mentality that he has as a goal scorer. But great ball from James, as I said, and a great header from Pash too. So good forward play from us there. Good run from Pash, great shot off the post, unfortunately. Very similar to the goal he scored in the first game against IFK Lulia. Playing out a little bit more, I got the pass back from the fullback. didn't really have the opportunity to play short, so I took it on my, onto my left foot in space and played up the line. That's the importance of being comfortable with both feet. Sometimes the pressure means you have to go onto your weak side. Cross from Glory, not sure what happened. Keeper, defender, lying on the floor, somehow didn't go in and then blocked with the follow-up shot. Pass out wide. I wasn't sure if he was going to cross or shoot here, but he almost did half of each. So I kind of had to wait and see if someone was coming in the back post. And as it whipped across, it nearly went in. So I had to cover it, but just wide. Flicked on header, hold the ball, kill time. Coming towards the end of the game, just wanting to kill it off as much as possible. Good run from Henke up from centre back. Shot, unlucky not to get it on target. Again, another little bit of time wasting. One nil up, a minute to go. You guys know as keepers, just keep that away from the strikers. Keep that away from their team. Just keep hold of the ball. No opportunity to play, so kind of long kick. Try and find your centre forward, see if they can hold it and build from there. And then that was it. Goal kick, final whistle. 1-0 win for Petia. So a good result for us to end our pre-season campaign. 
five games, three wins, two draws, two goals conceded and three clean sheets. Very, very positive work throughout the last few months. But it is pre-season at the end of the day. Great results, but no points. The most valuable stuff that we can take from these five games is all the little things that we've learned about ourselves as a team. What we need to do to play well when it actually matters, when three points are on the line. There's been loads of positive work. We've learned a lot as a group. And I know that I speak for everyone when I say that we're very prepared and very excited to get stuck in to the real deal and start the 2021 season. For me personally, preseason has felt like a nice extension from last year. I feel like I have maintained and even improved different elements of my performances, which has been really important, was a key aim for me in these last few months. Wins and clean sheets are great, but they only come from focusing on the process, each action one at a time to the best of my ability. And I feel like I've been doing that well and keeping on progressing with that focus, which has been really important. So now it's time to get down to business. First game of the season, away against Dal Kurd on the 5th of April. That's probably the day after you're watching this vlog. So, wish us luck, but it will be in the next episode of Keeping Goals. So for the rest of this week, head down, training hard, preparing as well as possible, ready to go and perform. And speaking of training, I'm gonna take you along right now to some of the goalkeeping work that we're putting in, in preparation for the season premiere. Let's go. So training hard, ready to go for the first game on Monday. How are you feeling about the start of the season, Frankie? Um, very excited. You yeah, feeling optimistic? Yeah, very optimistic. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to getting playing for three points again. First game is against Dal Kurd. Difficult team. Last year they were in the second tier, got relegated. Obviously last year we were in the fourth tier, got promoted. So. Little bit of a David V Goliath, but what better way to start off the season than straight in at the deep end? That's what we like. Bring on the challenges. Anyway, I also wanted to say happy Easter. I know a lot of you guys will be watching this on Easter Sunday, so happy Easter wherever you are in the world. Hope you have a wonderful day. This week's patron of the week is Stephen Clarkson. Stephen, thank you so much for your support and for supporting Keeping Goals. We wouldn't be able to make this vlog without patrons like yourself, so as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goal shout out. If you would like to become a patron, like Stephen, what do you need to do, Franks? Um, <laughs> I do know it. You need to go to... Where's the link? The link's down below the video. That's what we were looking for. Yeah. Smashed it. <laughs> and if you do follow that link, among other things, you will have access to a behind the scenes vlog that is coming very soon for patrons, and also a live Q&A where we can chat, answer questions, 
all that kind of stuff. So, as I said, follow the link below this video and become a patron of the Keeping Goals Union. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it brought you some value. If you did enjoy the episode, please click that like button. Helps us out a lot. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and come and join the Keeping Goals Union. I will see you next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals and the beginning of the 2021 season. Let's go smash it. Have a great week, guys. Happy Easter. Take care of yourselves. Keep chasing improvement. And I'll speak to you in a bit. For the bloopers, Frankie was planning to <laughs> spin around on the chair like a Bond villain. Spin around like this. Can I go like this? <laughs> that would be good. You can just walk in. <laughs> So that's all to come and to look forward to. But the main reason why today's vlog, <coughs> I feel like Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs>